Outside by Catfish and the Bottle Men. So the song is in standard tuning. One thing I will mention is the recorded version is in C sharp minor. If you try and play along to the live versions, all the ones that I've seen are in B minor. So everything that I teach you here is for the recorded version. If you want to play it as the live version, you'll need to play everything down the whole tone for two frets. So let's begin. So the guitar has some delay on it. Okay. The first chord is an E. Then a B, then an A. So the E that I'm using is this shape here. So we've got the little finger on seven of the A, six of the D, four of the G, and five of the B. And I'm only playing those middle four strings. Okay, so I've got the E, and also the other thing that I will mention, the way I'm playing this, I'm using my pick and these three fingers. So I'm hitting all the notes at the same time. And the emphasis really is on the G and the B string. So that will be those two fingers, my little finger and my ring finger. So. so, chords then. So we've got that E shape, which is basically a C shape, we'll played up on the seventh fret. Then we're going to play a B major chord and then an A major. And again, we're just playing those middle four strings. Then we go into the whole chord sequence, which is a four chord sequence. So we have a C sharp minor, and that is four of the A, six of the D, six of the G, and five of the B. Then we go into the E major, which I showed you a moment ago. Then we have a B major, which is two, four, four, four. And then A, which is just the open A string. And then two, two, two. So those are the four chords that go throughout the verse mainly. Again, that's C sharp minor, E major, B major, and A major. Then we kick in with a bit of overdrive, and we've got. So, what I'm playing there is just power chords, and they're three string power chords. So we've got four of the A, six of the D, six of the G. And what I'm doing is I'm muting that A string. And then I'm taking the mute off and playing the three strings. Then I'm coming down to two of the A, four of the D, and four of the G. Then I'm going to keep these two here, and I'm just going to move that first finger back then open, so that's like an A chord, okay, so, four, two, first finger back, keep the others where they are, open, and that's open A. At the end of that section, going to come in with when it builds up at the end of that section. So that's just an octave and we're playing 8 of the D, 11 of the B and then move that back to 7 of the D and 10 of the B. So 
one more time. That's eight and eleven. Te uh, seven and ten. Then we've got. So we've got two chords here. So we've got an E major. And we're going to start off with the low strings and then hit the high strings. Okay, then we go into an A major. So over the top of that, we've got. So that's more octaves. So we're going to play. Second fret of the G, five of the E. Then move up to four of the G and seven of the E. Six of the G, nine of the E. Nine of the G, 12 of the E. 11 of the G, 14 of the E. And 14 of the no 13 of the G and 16 of the E. So two and five, four and seven, six and nine, nine and twelve, eleven and fourteen, thirteen and sixteen. And then we stay on this 11 and uh, 13 and 16. Halfway through the second time it goes into this chord. So it's like. Nope. Then it changes back into the E chord there, but we stay there. And then come back into that chord halfway through that chord, and then back into the A. So again, the chords are E and A, and then you've got that octave run. Then we have this section. So what we're doing here, we're playing a C sharp minor chord again and we're literally going to play through so that's a string d string b to g and again then we're going to bring the little finger up to the seventh fret of the bottom e string and we're going to then play six of the d six of the g Five of the B, so it's the same chord here, but instead of having C sharp on the bass, we've got B on the bass, okay? And then we're going to play the E string, the D string, the B, and then the G. So those two together. Then we're going to change again to six of the bottom string and then six of the D, six of the G, five of the B. So we've gone from there to okay, and we're going to play again the E, D, B, G. And then we're going to play the five of the bottom string, or you can play the open A string. We're going to play six of the D, and then six, uh, sorry, four of the B and the open E. So that will be. Again, that's five, six, four, and open. 
I think they're played together. It could just be that note. Okay, so that is that section there. And it plays through that once all the way through. And then we've got... And then we finish on that, that chord there with the six, 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 five. So this time when we go back into the verse, we're starting on the A. And then we're back into those same chords, which is the C sharp minor, E major, B major, A major. Then we're back into that section, which is a C sharp three string power chord on the fourth fret of the A, B power chord on the second fret of the A. Move the first finger back to the first fret and keep these two there. And then an A power chord on the open A string. Then back to the C sharp. B. And then we got the octaves on 8 and 11 of the D and the B. And 7 and 10 of the D and the B. Then we're back into the E chord and the A chord. With the octave run. Okay, and repeat. And then we're back into this. Which is the same as we played earlier, which is the C sharp minor, C sharp minor with B on the bass, B flat minor 7 flat 5, and then the A with the G sharp and the D sharp. No, yes. Then we've got the just come along for the ride section. So we're going to play the following notes, on the, all on the bottom string, 9, 7, 6, 5. At the end of that section, we're coming with a... That part, so we've got the um, octaves on 8 of the D, and 11 of the B, and then 7 of the D, 10 of the B, and then into the E, and the A, with the octaves. Then back into these chords. Then we finish with a section that goes something like this. So, what I'm doing here is playing the riff and the little lead bits together. So we're going to start on the ninth fret of the bottom string. I've got some fuzz on now, it's quite noisy, so. Seven of the bottom. Six. And then we would go down to five to finish the riff. And I think one guitar does go down. So we've got nine, seven, six, five. 
on the bottom E string. Then the first lead bit. <laughs> We're going to do a unison bend. So we've got nine of the high E, twelve of the B, and we're going to bend the B string up to a C sharp. So that they're the same note. Then we're going to play twelve of the high E string and fifteen of the B, and we're going to bend the fifteenth fret of the B up to an E. So then. So that's the same. So this is the bit I'm not 100% sure of, but it's quite difficult to figure out what he's playing. So we're going to play on the bottom E string, 7 to 9 to 7 of the A. Then we're going to play 9 of the E to 7 of the A to 9 of the A. Then we're going to play on the A, 7 to 9 and then 9 of the D. So. And then the last one, same starts the same way. Then we're going to do a unison bend again on 9 of the E and 12 of the B. And then we're going to do a unison bend on uh, 4 of the E and 7 of the B. You can play and just do it on the same. So then we would be on 9 of the B and 11 of the G. Or... Okay. And then it ends on that riff. And that's the end of the song. So again, we got nine, seven, six, unison bend, unison bend, nine, seven, six, five, that little lick. Which may be wrong, but it sounds about right. Then or and then and that's the end of the song.